Hello, hello. Good day, good morning, good evening, good night, good afternoon. Whenever you're watching Spring Iris from Aldi. Y'all, I'm recording this on the 19th of April. I want to say this was part of not last week, but the week before. So even week before, I was on a little no-buy and I popped in there. I had a day where I didn't feel good and I wanted to cheer myself up. So I said, let me grab the spring iris. Um, I like to make things make sense, right? So if all else fail, quote unquote, and the candle is just not great, then I have confetti daydream candles uh, for BBW that has iris in it. And Butterfly also has iris, uh, raspberry, and vanilla in it. So if I all feel, it could be very blendable, right? So what's going on with the spring iris is just what it says it is. This is like a springy floral. Um, and the throw, well, look at the beautiful purple that it pulls out to. They do a good job with the dyes and the colors in their candles. And surprisingly, this one has really good wicks. When I scrubbed them up, they automatically didn't shrivel down. So I'm expecting this one to be fire. Like this one's going to be, yes, one of those heavy florals like their traditional gardenia that they have. And it's really not. So where I have this in my cool little ottoman filming corner, all that, all that. I've even turned the ceiling fan on to see how... It permeates through and I'm getting a throw from kind of about here to here. So it's not throwing very far, but it does have some throw. So we can give this one a solid five. Again, I'm not mad at it because you could boost it all the way up to its 9, 10 performance on the warmer. Or if you have more ventilation in your bathrooms than I do, then you can move it in a smaller enclosed room like that, right? So that's a five out here. And that's just to be fair. I feel like let me move it into the beauty room and see if it's really going to give before I decide to blend. So I'm going to come back in two days and let's see how this did in the smaller room per se, just to be fair. All right, spring iris, y'all. I'm sitting here on the end of my bed and just sitting here. She's very faint. Yeah, so this is in my bedroom. When I said, let me move it to a smaller room to see what she actually gives. Because I actually did two burns out there in the living room. I did early, early yesterday morning and late in the evening. And in that living room area, like she gets a, a steady five, which ain't really much because that's like she didn't even come across the way so if i stand back here in the bathroom do i pick up any of the iris scent no actually i got my blue brazilian waters wallflower that's doing better than that and i have a chair on the other side of my bed so if i sit in that chair over there can i get this scent throughout the room right now she's giving me a no so we're going to move her to the beauty room, which is a little bit smaller. But I think I already know the final verdict on this one. But y'all know I do this to be fair. Standing right up on her, I get her. But see how the flames have gotten a little bit high because she's been burning for two and a half, three hours now. Well, I just turn on the ceiling fan, which is going to make this even a little more drifty. I just like to do that to see how a scent actually spreads through a room. To see if it's giving off any scent at all. And so far. Okay, even with the ceiling fan on and me taking a couple of deep breaths, she's still light, light, and we shouldn't have to do all that. So I'm going to extinguish her and out her and probably come to you all tomorrow with the beauty room review. So I think we have a winner in the spring iris sweepstakes, y'all. So y'all know this is my unfinished beauty room. And it's a smaller room. So is it working for this smaller room, that is going to be a yes. So in my bedroom, when I say throw, like throw across the room where I was sitting, could I smell it? That was going to be a no. I had to stand right up on it like I'm doing now. And in the open concept living room area, it just spread just as far as the table. So that was like a solid four or five. Like it really just didn't do much. But in here, I smelled it before I even stepped over the, the room door. And I'm getting like 
like a dewy but iris note at the same time so i guess that's where the spring come into play like that same dewy grassy note that kind of was in that gnomes that clover candle not as loud as that but you know just the dewy greens of that plus the floral and i actually don't mind it i actually want to keep it i like to classify my scents in rooms that i would keep this in and it's so pretty and springy and irisy that over there I have the butterfly wallflower in that has iris as well. So I actually need to turn that back on because that's the one where you got the temperature control. Um, but that goes perfect in this room. So in this room, I can give it a whole solid seven and I think this is where I'll keep it. So I'm not mad at the 429 that I spent on it. It actually got through, it's just small room friendly. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next video.